Cooking with a wok can be one of the most efficient and delicious things you can do, but it can be kind of intimidating. So today I'm meeting up with my friend Grace Young, who is a wok and stir fry expert, and we're gonna find out all the tips. Grace, this is one of your favorite Chinatown supermarkets? Absolutely, yes. It's called 88 Natural, and I come here all the time for my produce. And Grace, you're the recipient of the Julia Child Award, but you're also a cookbook author, and the New York Times called you the stir-fry guru, is that right? Yes, I'm known as the stir-fry guru and the walk therapist. Anytime I walk into a supermarket like this where the signs aren't in English, I actually don't know what to get. <laughs> and you're not the only one. Everyone is pretty confused when they come into an Asian market to buy produce. Yeah. So tell us about some of the things that we should be looking at that we normally wouldn't pick up. So people are familiar with bok choy, but normally you can buy bok choy at your ordinary American supermarket. Right, I see that a lot. But when you come into Chinatown, you can get all these great varieties of baby bok choy. One of the other things I saw in here was a giant winter melon. I love winter melon soup, but yes. I just have never known how to tackle it. Do you right. have any tips? The winter melon looks like a watermelon and they will cut it into wedges and you come in and you just buy a wedge. And then and what do you do with the wedge? You're gonna remove the seeds and then you actually can remove the rind and cut up the flesh and cook it in chicken broth. It's one of the great Chinese delicacies. Okay, yes. so gotta add that to the shopping list. But because you're the stir fry guru, I don't think we're gonna be stir frying winter melon. <laughs> what do you suggest right now it's fall, what should we be stir frying in the wok? I was blown away today. They have the most gorgeous snow pea shoots. Look how slim and tender this uh, stem is. I think we should go back to my apartment and we should stir fry. I am in. So what are the steps to seasoning a wok? First thing you wanna do is take a stainless steel scrubber and use liquid detergent and scrub the inside and outside of the wok and then rinse with hot water and you do it several times and then you set it on the stove on medium low heat and set it for about a minute or two until there's no water visible in the wok. Then you add uh, two tablespoons of a high smoking point oil and then we stir fry the scallions and the ginger. Yeah. Normally when you stir fry, you're always stir frying on high heat, but when you season a wok, you do it on medium heat. Well now that we've seasoned the wok, yes. can we get to cooking? Yes, let's stir fry our snow pea shoots. So now I'm adding two tablespoons of oil, two smashed garlic cloves. This is eight ounces of the snow pea shoots. Ooh, I love that sound. Yes, and that's it. Look, the greens are just perfect. Mmm, walk your way over and get a walk. Time to walk. Time to walk, walk and, <laughs> walk and roll. We could go all night. Thank you so much, cheers. Yep.